Heidi Fang for MMA Fight Corner with Tyron Woodley, Strike Force veteran coming into the UFC with a huge knockout. Are you uh, really ecstatic about that? What yeah, you I'm, ex say? I'm ecstatic, man. I'm, I'm probably smiling more on the inside than, um, than out, but you know, I visualize this fight. I visualize knocking him out. I visualize all the things we did in training happen on tonight. And, and it's very seldom that you go out there and what you see happens. You know, I'm just really blessed right now. I'm excited. Uh, I'm excited for my gym, ATT Evolution in St. Louis. My family, you know, it was a rough a couple months after that last loss, and I think this is this is going to top the cake. All right, it brings you up to 11 wins now, if I'm not mistaken. Is that right? That's correct. That's correct. And uh, how many, I guess, how many, how much in the training did you actually, I guess, prepare with your hands, work on any kind of striking? Because I know you're known for being more of a wrestler. Well, you know, I, I think um, what he expected me to do was wrestle him and I'll position him, and um, probably 90% of my count was striking, training, boxing. Um, so I prepared, um, with, you know, world champion boxers that are his size and has his reach. Um, I didn't think it was important for me to really focus on a lot of the wrestling because I knew he expected that. So I wanted to give the illusion of wrestling and hit him with the striking, and um, it worked out. Yeah, it certainly did. What are you thinking about knockout of the night? Bonus on your first out UFC fight? Man, that'll be an amazing way to enter me into the UFC. The Woodley family would not be mad at it. And uh, right now, if, I, if they had to freeze everything, I think I'll, I'm in the, in the head of the race so far. So. Yeah, 36-second knockout, I'd say, yeah. right there. Uh, you know, the strike force guys tonight, we had Derek Brunson though who debuted at 155. He won his fight. And then after that, you've had two others tonight plus yourself. So that's 4-0 for Strike Force across the board so far. What do you think that says for the promotion and the fighters and the caliber of the guys that have come over to the UFC? I mean, we were always scrappy. You know, the year 2010, we had an amazing year of promotion. Um, probably one of the reasons why the UFC took, you know, took notice of the division of Strike Force. So um, I think we just got something to prove. You know, we, we can't come over here and, um, you know, fight these guys and they just stump us and then like damn you know you guys are kind of second second rate so we had to come over and send a statement now in this division there's a lot of contenders at this division UFC 158 will have a lot of them on the main stage where do you think uh, maybe in the next few months if you could book a fight where you'd stack up um and I, I just told those guys a second ago I said hey you know my passport is valid it's them and May god forbid but things happen somebody slip on a banana peel I'm ready to roll you know it's 30 seconds I don't plan on stop training, but you know, those guys are the top 10, top 5 in the world. That's who I want to fight. That's that's who I want to risk and, and roll the dice if I'm going to risk it. So hopefully, you know, the UFC uh, explained that to them and I think they want to see me fight those guys as well. Fantastic. Well, we look forward to seeing more of you in the UFC, Tyron, and great debut tonight. Thank you. Appreciate it. You're welcome.